Whoa! Hey everyone, this is Jeff of Tal Flare Mouse. Today we have a slug that came all the way from the country of England, also known as the UK. According to Lee, he made it out of a linear roller bearing from a shutter. You make it, we mock it, is sort of like advanced rocketry. We asked the creators to make the projectile 0.675 inches in diameter, and they can make it out of almost any material they want. The projectile is placed inside of a plastic sabo with a wall thickness of 30 thousandths of an inch. This fills the space between the projectile and the barrel and protects the barrel if they're using a material that is really hard that could damage that barrel. The goal is to get it to 0.735. That's five thousandths of an inch larger than the bore of the barrel or about the thickness of a piece of paper. Lee made 10 of these projectiles for us, all exactly the same, and I really do appreciate that. But he did a fantastic job. It, they look like they came from a factory. Inside the roller bearing, he filled with epoxy. I think he said he added some BBs in there for ballast. Now the plastic tail, he said, was made out of a test tube bung. Let's hope that's going to be strong enough to hold up to the rigors of being shot. Now let's see if he got that critical measurement right. 0.675. Nailed it, brother. Now the weight of these are 18.3 grams. That's a little light, but we asked people to make them anywhere between 5 and 50 grams. So that's that's going to work. Now these are 1 and 3 eighths inches long or about 35 millimeters. And this Sabo is not going to work. It's way too short and it's not going to support the nose. But luckily we have a fix for that because the thickness of a plastic shotgun hole is 30 thousandths of an inch too. We'll use an X12X gas seal, an overshot card, and our two-piece custom-made discarding Sabo made from a shotgun hole. How's that? We'll stick all that inside of a 12-gauge hole using 20 grains of tightwad powder. Real fast-burning powder. Hopefully now you have a better appreciation of the work and precision that goes into a project like this. It's a lot more than just stuffing stupid things into a shell and shooting it into a target that's three feet in front of you. Welcome back to Later, folks. Jeff behind the camera and Officer Greg down here at the shooting table. Hey, uh, Lay, I believe it's Lay. I think it's Lee. Lee? I, I think I it's know. a British, it's like Jeff. J-E-F-F -F or G-E-O-F-F-F-E. G-E-U-H, G-E-A-U. I'm gonna say Lay, but he uh, visits us here on Talflater Mouse under the username of Lazy Lab Rat. Either way, Lazy Lab Rat, that we know how to pronounce. Um, a couple months ago he sent us these handmade rounds from Liverpool in the UK. Jeff and I were just comparing notes and we think these are the first ones that we've ever had from the UK, are they not? I, believe, I think they are. But anyway, Jeff will show you how these were created. We thank uh, Lay or Lee or Lai or Lisa or whatever his name is uh, very much for sending these over. We're going to give them a try first through the smooth bore and see what they do, but we expect them to actually perform they're, better. They're, they're very well made. Yeah. I've got to say that. and. Uh, I'll, I will talk about that later, but they were kind of I was surprised. really impressed, though. I went by the, the post office box one day and found an, a beautiful box. He had them all packaged in there perfectly spaced and padded and everything. So he went to a lot of work to send these over from Liverpool. And uh, so we want to shoot these. Yeah, out thank for you for your patience. It, it, sometimes it takes a few months for us to get to these things. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I've had it. I've been so backlogged. I've had to tell people, hey, don't send anything for, yeah. you know, check back in about six months. If and I hate sent, saying that, but if you've sent stuff in and we haven't shot it, uh, don't get grouchy just yet. It takes you a can while. check in and say, hey, Jeff, what's up with yeah. the slugs I, I sent you? Don't you know? mail ice cream or butter. Those are <laughs> ill advised. But otherwise, uh, we appreciate your submissions. But yeah, it does take a while to get around. To yeah, them, so. we only film like three or four things a, a month. So and well, out here, at least. Yeah, yeah. There is that bearskin rug at, 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 next to the fireplace. <laughs> Do a lot of filming over there. Okay, let's shut up. All and... right. Okay, test one. Smooth bore. I'm ready. Here we go. 1418. And I think it hit just to the right of the uh, X if I, oh, okay. if I saw correctly. That was very promising. That, I made me yeah. happy. So it hit Brandon just a little low and right. Apparently it stayed mostly nose forward. Yeah, it, yeah. It kind of de demolished the tail, which you'd expect with any piece of plastic. Kind of interesting though that that plastic stayed uh, mounted to the roller bearing. I think he knows what he's doing. What? I, I can't. You know. He said he's a lazy lab rat, not an industrious lab rat. I don't. He was. He was not lazy when he made these. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay, stop. Again, smooth bore. Yep. We may have to go to the rifling soon. On but. the cheese. Okay, I'm ready. Perfect. There we go. That one also f sounded different. It did. It did. It sounded a boom, and the last one sounded like a clack. Yeah. Perfect. There we go. It's been a while, but we've got a clay block here. People love the clay block, and I and I agree with them. It's just expensive. It's gotten so expensive. Yeah, with inflation. Like, like everything. <laughs> okay, we're going with full rifling now. Yes, shotguns have can have full rifling. Guess so. how can that be? It's not a shotgun if it has full rifling. <laughs> right. How but, can a shotgun have a scope? A scope, yes. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Very oh. nice. Oh, and the table goes down. Light recoil. Okay, another... We're getting co cocky here, but... It's an actual 1972 Penny, back when they made them super big. Disco was king, Calvin Coolidge was president, and pennies were gigantic. Um, this thing is actually the size of about, what, a coffee mug? Yeah, roughly. that's a good comparison. So, uh, kind of tiny for 13 yards away. We're going to go ahead and pin it down there and uh, see if we can't hit it. Feeling kind of... Uh, we're feeling good about these things. I, I'm, I'm, I'm happy, you know. I would say cocky, but we get demonetized. Right. Okay. <laughs> it looks pretty small now, doesn't it? Now, now it looks like the size of a real pin. It does. Okay. Uh, I'm ready. Here we go. I think. Oh. Holy shit! If I hit that, nobody will be more shocked than me. I think you hit the clamp. Oh, sure. <laughs> you hit something. Oh. Holy. Shit. Hey, so uh, nobody is more shocked than this guy I am too. Um, that we hit the penny. We thought we maybe hit the clamp. And uh, you can see the impact right there behind Lincoln's head, which is not the first time there was an impact right behind Lincoln's head. <laughs> <laughs> too soon. <laughs> so uh, flip anyway. it around and show the exit too. Yeah, you want to? Really oh, there you go. Yeah, you should always see the exit hole. Yeah. But uh, we're actually kind of impressed. <laughs> hit that big giant. Penny. Full rifling still. Yep. Lead plate. We don't do that. We haven't done the lead plate in a while and people are getting really mad. I'm gonna try and put it right in the center of the orange triangle right there. Gotcha. <laughs> I'm ready. Here we go. Wow, I got something right back here in my lid. Uh-oh. Oh. I had no idea how these were made. So this one hit a little high. I was aiming right here in the center of the orange triangle went about, what is that, an inch and a half high. And if you zoom in on that, check that out. You can actually see what those bearings were made out of. Yeah, I didn't know they had needle bearings in there. Little tiny structures. That is nasty. What is that guy thinking? <laughs> <laughs> what he's thinking is, send me some figgy pudding. <laughs> and I wish I'd have Not very deep penetration. It's, it's light and everything, but. Yeah, no, but it's I, good. It's good that we captured one. We saw one kind of blown apart in the clay. Yeah. But it lost all of its pieces. This one actually kind of captured most of it. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Jeff, I think your squirrel's a little a little limp. He won't stand up on it. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's from Clear Ballistics, and I don't think they oh, yeah. balanced it very well. Thanks, Clear Ballistics. You know what? Prop it up. With, you got something to prop it up? With, I'm going to prop it with my phone. What? Oh, come on, Jeff. Don't hit the phone. I'll try not to Do hit not the phone. Do not hit the phone. My iPhone 1.0. You're feeling, uh, that's how I know you're really cocky. When I put my phone up there? Yeah, you um, trust your phone to your your aim? I'm super confident. Okay. That's the 1.0. You, you text one word per minute. <laughs> okay, we're, you're going to try to just hit it in the chest or something? Yeah, I'm just going to hit the squirrel. Just kind of mid, mid body. Okay, gotcha. Okay, I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, I think oh. you got it. I think you got it. He fell over. Oh, oh. I think you got it. Okay, uh. I'm going to be in trouble with Mrs. OG. <laughs> but good thing is she can't text me, so uh, she'll never know. He's, he hit the camera. I'm going to have to take one of these little foil plates we found inside and, and signal her to come pick me up because <laughs> shot my phone. That just cut right through there. That's, yeah. That was impressive. Drifted a little bit left, right? Yeah, yeah. Left, right? Left. Well. It is California. Goes through a phone. Okay, we got two left. All Ballistic right. gel gummy bear. On the nose. On the nose. I'm ready. Whoa. 
think we got him. Whoa, do you see him twitch? Yeah, he wiggled and waggled and then he... <laughs> Rotate a little bit. Don't let me burn you. Look at that. Okay. Okay. That's a pretty clear little head there. Yeah. Classy. Okay. So uh, we're aiming for the nose and we hit the damn nose. Um, both of us are constantly shocked at these rounds. Yeah, oh, absolutely. They're wagging a little bit on their way down. We're going to have to rename Lee, or is it Lay? Lay. To Evan. Oh, <laughs> um, these have been some of the more accurate rounds we've shot, and certainly some of the more accurate uh, homemade rounds. Absolutely. But holy crap. I love it. I love when things work out. Can you see that? How it goes right through his little bear biscuit and out the back? Yeah. No little, fragmentation in there, tiny, but no nope, little tiny hole. But man, 13 yards away, and we hit a little um, little triangle the size. of about, about the size of a We've guitar shot factory pick. ammo that wasn't that accurate. Yeah. This little uh, blue triangle is actually about the size of a guitar pick, so that's <laughs> a Supreze, a baby Dorito maybe. Yeah, that's a, yeah, I love it. I love it. Okay, I'm as ready as ever. All right, here we go. I don't think it made it through. People complain that I didn't paint the, the the plate. We painted it, repainted this time. Yeah, and so we know that it hit, worked as a good witness plate. The uh, projectile hit the, hit the gel, obviously, traveled all the way through. Neither Jeff nor I heard it hit. We actually didn't think it went through, but bing, there it is. And then, right back there, close to where I was kneeling down, we found this lovely. Yeah, it, w it wouldn't have hurt if no, you, no, it no. hit you. But that one. Plus, Jeff. That, that one's. I don't have any feeling from the eyeballs down, so wouldn't have noticed anyway. <laughs> but anyway, that's one of the better ones we've recovered. That shows you kind of how they went together. It kind of compressed a little bit, the wad did. Yeah. Because there was a pretty good gap there of about six millimeters or so. Maybe? Sure, six, seven. Quarter inch. Yeah, I was thinking seven. Whatever gets the job done. And we were talking off camera a second ago. This is some of the most, one of the most accurate rounds that we've had as a homemade viewer submission. Especially, well, Evan has done some great stuff too. Yes, yes. I don't want to, These are to be sad. First ones from Liverpool, England that have been this accurate. Though. That's true, yeah. Um, a lot of people think of these as a weapon and I think of it like rocketry. Advanced what? What supersonic it? rocketry. Horizontal rocketry. Yeah, yep. <laughs> and it's, it's not that simple. It's not throwing a bunch of stupid things in a shotgun. We want to do, do it smart we want to do it accurately and precisely. And Lee, or is it Lay? Lay. Um, I'm going to go with Lay. We'll okay. See. We'll see. I'm, I'm going right. with Lee. He's going to let us know. And he he kept all the all the projectiles exactly the same. Sometimes people send us stuff that every one is different. They were all exactly the same. They were the the, the balance was good. The weight was good. They the, tasted the pretty tolerances good. were perfect. Yeah. And they look cool too. They look so, cool. That's he, not, I, really all that matters. Very impressive testing. Yeah. And we want to point out here that Lay sent these over probably four months ago. So yeah. if you think you're going to send something in and we're going to shoot it on Tuesday because we got it on Saturday, it doesn't work that fast. So, um, you know, be careful what you send in and what yeah, your expectations and, are. And I've been turning people away because yeah. we're so backlogged. I don't want people to wait that long. Yeah, but. That's how backlog we are. We got those acorn rounds. We got yeah. the Vienna sausage rounds to do <laughs> still. We got those. And you know, it's like I could do nothing but viewers suggest viewers send in stuff. And then I I don't do anything else. You right. know, don't and we don't want to be. Fun. We want to do a variety. You know, it's like hey, we're gonna do some 22 stuff today. That's we're gonna. That's true. We do have some 22 stuff coming up. Yeah, they they seem to perform really well in real real time. Now we're gonna find out how they did in actual flight. All right, well, before Jeff gets to the slow motion, I want to thank you guys for stopping by. Now watch the slow motion. Until next video.